What did you think as a socialist? What did you think of President Carter's energy speech? Yeah, I, I think, I mean, by and large, he said the same thing that we said here, that saving in the long run of expendable, extinguishable resources is the basis of any energy policy, that you have to get out of the dependence of oil, because oil we need for building up the poor regions of the world who need it for their chemical industry, for their agriculture, and we shouldn't burn all, all of it in our houses or in our mm -hmm. automobiles. But naturally, as a socialist, uh, uh, looking at the American scene, it's always the fact that um, the question of ownership of the means of production and the planning of energy policy is not uh, well in the foreground because you have American capitalism ha outside of the military field. If it could be made a military issue, you, this government you is know, allowed to do anything. Massive. But outside the military field, uh, uh, the old traditions of being against the state are so strong that there you have difficulties to act. As I had the impression that he. Um, he totally put the onus of responsibility on the consumer. We had to be more careful, certainly, in our sense of waste, because as Americans, we've indulged ourselves all our lives too long. But still, there was no onus of responsibility on the means of production, on the oil companies, the gas companies. I suppose it's too much to ask after three months to go after the gas and oil companies, but he could have begun. Mm. <laughs>